hey, we haven't done this yet. That's kind of a wimpy horn for such a beefy truck, man. <laughs> Look at how fast this thing goes. This is crazy. And it's got more horsepower than our tractors. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we have a lot of work to do here in the month of March. So it is March 1st, as you can see here. And before I started the camera, I took a whole mess of fertilizing contracts. Look at all these fertilizing contracts. There's just tons of them here. Um, and so, you know, we already have our spreader. And so I'm going to do all of those myself. We'll be able to knock them out pretty quickly. And we should be able to bring in some good money. And we're using our all of our own equipment so we don't have to, you know, lose money renting anything. So that's good. And uh, I think the other contracts are just... Oh, there's another fertilizing. Okay, so we'll take that. Um, there were some weeding contracts too. Look at this. This is crazy. Just about every map on the... Uh, or, I'm sorry, field on the map wants to be fertilized. That's fine with me, man. All right, yeah, that's uh, that's a pretty nice little chunk of change there that we're going to do for contracts. So we got that done. Uh, as far as critters go, we're doing pretty good on the critters. So we're at capacity on the chickens, which is great. Uh, but we won't be at full egg laying capacity until this last batch of, of you know, young chickens matures enough to start laying eggs. But uh, then we should expect to see, you know, some pretty decent egg production coming in at that point. Because right now we only have... I guess we only have one third of our our chickens uh, generating eggs for us at the moment. If I'm if I'm correct about that, reproduction, puberty, puberty. Yeah. So these two batches of chickens are still in puberty. They're not at the point yet where they can generate eggs. So once they do generate eggs, then we're basically going to triple the current uh, production, which could mean we get two pallets of eggs per month, which wouldn't be too bad. Okay, cool. Uh, so now, as far as our greenhouses go, we, um, we're we getting low on water, so I'm going to have to do that. But, of course, I was just going to do that off camera. So i got to get the water back in there. And um, this, this I think this greenhouse is the one that has had lettuce all along. And, you know, we've had, let's see, November, December, January, February. So we've had four months go by since I filled the fertilizer up and it's not even halfway down yet. However, these other two greenhouses, the strawberries and what were the strawberries and the tomatoes, fertilizer's gone down quite a bit more just because it produced so many more pallets, I'm assuming. Uh, but even, we still have at least two more months before we have to actually put more fertilizer in here, which essentially means I think for tomatoes and strawberries, we can go, we can get by with about six months or we can go by, um, uh, get by, that's what I'm trying to say, I'm sorry, <laughs> on six months of with one load, one full load of fertilizer, which isn't bad at all. Um, not bad at all. And, you know, very good, very good in, as a matter of fact. And with lettuce, it's, it's, it's apparently even better. So anyway, all that to say, I, at some point, um, before March is over, I need to refill these guys with water, but I'm going to let the fertilizer go for, you know, hopefully for a couple more months or at least for one more month before we have to worry about filling that back up. Okay, so that is good. Now, we have $25,353, and what we're going to do with that money, there isn't anything in the store. Well, there is a Massey Ferguson, but um, it's not really that much better than, well, it could potentially be up to 305 horsepower as a matter of fact but but that's just too expensive for us i mean that would basically all right so that would be 265 305 yeah so that would basically make this tractor $130,000 which there's no way we can afford that right now anyway and um in addition to that it has 39 months on it so it's pretty pretty old um, tractor, but we don't need it right now. I mean, obviously it would be nice to have three tractors, but we're not at the point yet where three tractors is a priority for us. So what we're going to do uh, with our money is we're going to repair both of our tractors and then we're going to put them to work. So our hay is ready to harvest too, by the way, which is great. 
And so my plan is that I'm I'm going to mow and bale and pick up the hay uh, here in the New Holland. And then I'm going to have a worker use the McCormick to roll the field. And while that's happening, I'm going to go out and do all those fertilizer contracts. Okay, so that is the plan. Stan, that's the plan, Stan. So let's grab our handy dandy little toolbox over here. Grab it from this side. I'm stuck. And uh, no, that's not exactly what I wanted to have happen. Okay, pick it up, flip it up this way ish. Set that down in front of the New Holland. Okay, so the New Holland is going to. Oh, that's not terrible. Uh, just a little over 3,000 to repair that. The McCormick is about 3,000, okay. And I'm not, well, yeah, what the heck. Let's go ahead and <laughs> repair our weight. Why not? Uh, now, let's also, since we're in the repairing mode, let's take our toolbox over to the barn, and we're also going to repair our forklift, too. Because it is, uh, it's down pretty low. Um, okay, hold on. Why are you not giving me the option to repair? Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Is it because you're in the barn? Workshop, open vehicle options. Why isn't that working? I'm pressing the key and it's not working. Uh, okay. I'm guessing it's probably because it's in the barn. Uh, in the barn. I don't know why it's not working. So let's... Let's pull this out then. Yeah, you can see that the re repair, the wrench in the lower right-hand corner is like really low. So this, this thing needs a little TLC too. Nope, not that. No, not that. There we go. Okay. So that's going to cost us 2200 bucks to repair that. Very good. Okay, it's good. So our, <coughs> excuse me, our forklift is now in mint condition. Well, except for the paint, but... Who cares about that, right? So that brings us down to 16.9 on our money, but that's okay. We needed to get this stuff repaired, and especially the tractors, because they're going to be doing work this month for sure. All right, fantastic. Okay, let's pick you up again. There we go. Okay, guys, so, yeah, I think the first order of business here is to get our hay going. And so I'm going to do that uh, in the New Holland, which is going to be awesome. More horsepower, a little bit faster. And once I get the hay completely done, I'm going to assign our worker um, to roll the field with the McCormick. And while he's doing that, I'm going to have uh, take the New Holland out and do all the fertilizer contracts. So I will see you guys back here when all of that is done, and then uh, we will go from there. We don't belong here. I want more out of life. The longer we stay here, our boots get stuck in the mud. Let's pack up a life, baby, and call it a night. Cause the longer we stay here, the harder the fight. I said, hey, yeah, 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 call it a start by leaving behind what's breaking our hearts. I said, hey, yeah, 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 follow the spark Ain't nothing but a one way We won't regret this Let's kiss the past goodbye I'm longing to live this free life I've been hearing about. 
about You will see us howling Like wolves in the night Cause nothing is stronger Than wanting what you might get I said hey, yeah, yeah, yeah Call it a start By leaving behind what's breaking our hearts I said hey guys we are finished with our fertilizing contracts um, and we are sitting at $68,751 right now so let's finish getting this cleaned up here so if we uh, look at our money here we made let's see here Contract income. So we made $75,643 on contracts. So we grossed that. But then we spent $21,840 um, on fertilizer. So basically we made about $44,000, $43,000-ish. Oh, I guess, no, I guess it tells us that right there. Yeah, look at that. My math is actually sometimes close. <laughs> uh, so we made about $43,000 on this. That's pretty good. Um, that's not 100% accurate because there's a couple other um, uh, payments, I think, that have been taken out of there. Actually, yeah, because we did have to play, uh, we did have to pay workers. I did use workers. Vehicle running costs, that was the repairs I made earlier before we started the contracts. So, um, yeah, no, that's that's still correct because we took we took the actual contract income and subtracted the actual fertilizer costs from that so that that number is accurate so yeah we made about forty three thousand dollars not too bad not too bad i don't know probably i don't know how long it took me to do all those i mean that was a lot of contracts probably about an hour of real time all told it is that next day in real life for me um by the way too but yeah not too bad probably some of the easiest contracts and lo most lucrative contracts that you can do okay so i i know in real life it probably is not a good idea to store fertilizer in the spreader because it can be corrosive. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to be realistic and we're going to offload that and we'll just have to store the fertilizer separate. Okay. 
So yeah, we did hire a worker, as you saw in the montage there, to roll most of the field for us. I took care of the, the trickier spots and did the headlands and stuff, but then I had the worker um, do the other part. So that worked out pretty good. That way I didn't have to spend all of my time using that roller. Disconnect that. Beautiful. Okay, I'll have to uh, do something with those pallets later, I guess. Let's see, those forks are on there. I'll, I'll probably move that bale clamp over and stack the other three pallets inside of there, but I'll do that later. Okay, so the next thing we have to do is we have to get water in our greenhouses. So I'm going to work on that next. I'm just going to do that off camera. And then probably, let's see, I, I don't think, I think we've already checked the store, haven't we? Yeah, okay, so we don't, none of that's going to work for us. So we'll probably do that, and then I'll probably sleep until March 3rd. When March 3rd rolls around, I'll load up the lettuce, and once the lettuce is loaded and ready to go to market, I'll bring you guys back at that point, and we'll take it to market and see how much money we make, and then go from there. So we'll see you in a bit. Hey, guys, I, I got to thinking about something uh, that we might want to try here. I was actually going to do this a long time ago, but I completely forgot about it. Um, if we go into the build menu and we go to somewhere, tools maybe, there's an actual well in here that we can buy that we can get water from. Now, I don't know how fast we'll get it. Um, no. Containers. Yeah, right here. So this is, yeah, this is from the American Farm Buildings Pack. What is this? This is just a water tank. Water station can supply your water tanks with fresh water. Um, wait, are you saying that this generates water? A buying station? I, I think you have to fill this thing up. Yeah, see, it's it's got well, does it? I think that icon means you got to put water inside of it, so it can store water for you. But I don't think it generates water. Whereas the, I think the well, maybe does. Hmm. How much? It's only five hundred bucks. So if it ends up not working, then we're not out of that much money. Um, where would we put this though? Maybe we could put it here by the tree, but we'd also want to turn it around this way. I think that's where I would want to put it. Where else would we put it? Put it over by the chickens. Yeah, we could put it right here on the edge of the of this. Is that Pretty square there. Yeah, I'd say it's pretty square. Okay, let's just try it and see what it does. I don't have to go that far to get water, but I mean, if we can get water right on site, that would be amazing. Yep, sure enough, look at that, it's filling it up. In fact, I'd almost say it's filling it up faster than even the the little pond does that we go in. Okay, cool. All right. Oh, oh. <laughs> I forgot, these are stupid dolly trailers. Okay, so that's nifty. Oh, man, maybe I should have set that up so I don't have to back. Well, if we got, if we got rid of that tree, we could just drive right around through here or if I guess I get, get a little closer to the chicken coop I can drive around okay yeah that could work and we could uh, also role play that you know we're getting water out of there for our chickens too even though the chickens I mean I, I'm assuming that the chicken building or the chicken coop rather is just hard plumbed because they they have little water thingies in there and it doesn't require me to put any water in there so that I believe that's just the situation. Okay, well, that's cool. We got ourselves a well. 
Now we can fill these up even quicker. It was only 500 bucks. That's not so bad. So yeah, I'll get these uh, greenhouses filled up with water and um, and I'll bring you guys back on March the 3rd to sell our lettuce. See you in a bit. All right, guys, we are back. It is March 3rd and we're loading up the last of the lettuce here. And then we're going to go sell this. We're going to take a look at... Uh, our eggs and see if we have a full pallet of those too. I'm not sure if we do or not. And I checked this uh, the store. There's a manure spreader and a um, a small cultivator. Now we could we could buy this, and the reason I would do that is then I could put a worker on the McCormick to do the smaller cultivating fields that we have, and then I could you know, use the new Holland with the bigger cultivator. So I'm, I'm thinking about that. I haven't made up my mind for sure yet if that's what I want to do, but that is a possibility. And uh, we also need to take a look at the feed level of the chickens and the fertilizer level of the greenhouses. Uh, I did get them filled up with water on uh, March the 3rd after I left you guys. Uh, during that last segment there, so the water should be in pretty good shape, and even if it isn't, it's pretty easy to fill up now. Anyhow, uh, with that new well that we got, which is awesome. Okay, so let's take a look and see where we are with all of that stuff. So, no more contracts have come available, but that's nothing new. And yeah, we are very, very low on grain. We only have 247 liters, so we're going to have to get some grain for our, our chickens. And let's see, fertilizer is actually not too bad, really. And, and the reason for that is because we switched everything to lettuce. And lettuce uses quite a bit less fertilizer than tomatoes and strawberries do. So we're, we're actually fine, we, especially with this one. This was the original lettuce greenhouse. It's still half full. And I'll bet you, you know, we can go another two, three months before we have to put more fertilizer in these buildings. So I mentioned this I think in the last episode, I think the lettuce is a little bit unbalanced, actually, <laughs> uh, because it makes at least as much money as the other two, but but for a lot less work um, and a lot less fertilizer consumption. So, yeah, I don't know what the deal is with that. Any uh we are going to need to get some feed for our our birds. So let's um, move this out of the way here. Oh, I need to get that last pallet strapped down. Looks like we can do one here, too. And actually, I never even looked to see who what the prices were on this. So let's do that, too. So we're looking at... Oh, lettuce, lettuce, lettuce. Okay, so best price is ten thirty-five at the bowling alley. Okay, so we're going to run this up to the bowling alley. In fact, let's just do that now, and then we'll come back and we'll get some feed for the chickens. Except for, I wanna turn this off and turn the lights off so we don't run the batteries down. There we go. Okay, let's go sell to that bowling alley. Maybe they have a special this month on, uh, uh, what, what? What do they call it when you, like, order a burger that just has lettuce? Like the low-carb thingamadoodle? There's a name for it. I just, it, it escapes me at the moment. Low-carb burgers, yeah. Um, oh, man, what what's the name for that? I can't think of it off the top of my head. You guys know what I'm talking about probably, though. Anyway, yeah, they're, they're, they're ha they have a special on lettuce burgers <laughs> at the bowling alley this month. It's kind of funny, too. To just kind of make up reasons why these, you know, relatively small establishments are <laughs> buying so much produce from us. But who am I to question, right? <laughs> it's pretty funny. All right, I'll see you guys up at the bowling alley. All right, we made 8285 off of that lettuce and... Another 
1000 off of that. So yeah, then get this right about in the $9,000 range, which is pretty much what what we can expect from our produce sales every month. Not too bad, man. Not too bad. So again, uh, not, you know, right around the same as what we were making with strawberries and tomatoes, but way less pallets to load and less fertilizer consumption. So this is uh, definitely a better, a better way to do it, I think, um, as unbalanced as it may be. <laughs> But it's the way it works right now, so that's what, what we're going to do right now. All right, so that gets our money up to $76,830. So I think, uh, let's see, what is the next thing on the agenda? Oh, uh, I do want to buy that canola field. We won't be able to harvest it till July, but what we could do is... I don't think I'll buy it today, but when it starts to bloom, we could buy it and we could also get some beehives. And the beehives will do two things for us. They will produce honey for us, which we can sell. Um, but they'll also pollinate um, the canola field and give us a greater yield from the crop. Uh, and they do the same thing for sunflowers and potatoes too, so the three flowering crops that are in the game. Um, we also want a pickup truck. I definitely have been wanting to get one of those for quite some time. I would have already gotten one of those except for the fact that um, we would have... Uh, I, that tractor came up for sale and I couldn't resist it. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, let's go look at that canola field and see... I don't, I don't think it's blooming yet, but let's go look at it just in case it is. April, so if we bought it next month, let's see, April, May, June. So that would give us still three more months before we could harvest it. But if that's three months of flowering, which actually I guess that doesn't make sense. Flowering doesn't usually last for three months. Well, at least not in real life. Maybe it does in this game. I don't know. Okay, let's park our trailer here. And I'm just going to leave the tractor there for now, too. Let's run over here and just look at it real quick. Uh, I don't don't think it's flowering, but let's check. Could be wrong. No, it's not. Okay. So I think what I'll do is when this when this field does start to flower, at that point, we'll buy some beehives. Let's look at the price on that. I'm, I'm not planning on doing that yet. Um, but, so the largest beehive we can get is $20,000. What is this? Honey pallet location. Oh. Location where I need So we can buy that separately and choose a location for it? Huh. Okay. So, I mean, you know, if we're going to do this, as long as I can afford to do it, we're going to go big or go home. So, yeah, we, we'll probably get this when this field flowers. So, and I believe this field is 50 some odd thousand bucks. Let's look at the, the price of it. Uh, no, it's $64,000. Okay, it's $64,000. I wonder if that's because... It has the crop, and I'd like to get these two fields at some point too, but I don't think we can. We can't afford to get all three of those. And last time I checked, neither one of those has a, a crop on it yet. Nope, this one is still uh, just limed, and that one is limed with a bunch of weeds on it. So let's just hold out, hold off on that, and see if the um, the owner of that field will do something with it. We are at 64% on the fermenting of our bales. So once those are fermented, we will put them in the storage unit. Okay, so let's go ahead and call the store. And um, what is this? This is a two and a half meter cultivator. That's pretty small. Yeah, I think I'm going to wait on that. I don't think I'm going to do that. Um, so that being the case, let's go here and go here and... Let's buy a couple of these for the chickens. Um, actually, yeah, no, two's good. Two seems to last for a couple of months. Okay, and we'll get the chickens fed up. 
uh, or fed. We're good on fertilizer for at least two more months. And then I think we're pretty much finished with March the 3rd. We're going to look at one more thing, though, before I let you guys go in this episode. We're going to look at pickup trucks. Let's get our chickens fed first. Now, at, in the future, um, I would like to have a small field that we can designate to grow grain uh, for the chickens. Come on. Back up in there. There we go. So, you know, that way we don't have to keep buying it. And plus, it'll be kind of fun to, you know, grow our own feed anyways. But we're, you know, we're just not at that point yet. Uh, we're we're going to get the most return for our money with silage on the small fields that we do have. So I think we're going to keep doing that for the time being. You know, but as we expand, eventually, like I said, it is my intention to uh, designate a small field for grain for the chickens. And, you know, we're eventually going to get cattle. And we might even get some sheep for wool and stuff, too, you know, way later on. But I want to get cattle next. <clears throat> Possibly some hogs, stuff like that. And so eventually, you know, when we're getting into the end game here in this playthrough, I'd like to be producing all of our food for all of our critters when that time comes. So anyway, that's the plan. We'll see how, you know, that all works out, of course. Okay, so let's go. You know what? This thing could actually use a little bit of a hosing down. Let's go ahead and get wash it up a little bit. It's in really, really good shape otherwise. I can't believe how long the batteries lasted on this. It seems a little almost OP. <laughs> so, yeah. Is what it is. I'm not going to complain about it. When, when, you know, when the time comes where the battery does actually get low, low enough, we can take it over to the biogas plant and charge it over there. I don't know how long it takes to charge, but that's the, the plan for that. We'll keep our eyes open uh, on the sails, too. If a little skid steer becomes you know comes up for sale we might grab one of those uh because i think i could be wrong about this but i think the skid steer may have a higher lift than the forklift does uh plus it you know it, it's gonna work better on rough terrain and it has a lot of attachments that we can put on it uh, so it would be a more versatile machine for us but you know i i still might what I'll probably do, what I envision myself doing is keeping the forklift too, getting the skid steer and making sure that I actually like the skid steer better than the forklift for this, you know, pallet loading that we're doing before I actually got rid of the forklift. So anyway, that's kind of what we're thinking. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at the options for pickup trucks. Now, I know we need 80 some odd thousand dollars to buy that field and buy the big beehive. But remember, next month is April. That's going to be hay cutting month. And I expect to bring in six figures uh, on contracts next next month. So I'm not too worried about that, to be honest with you. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look in the store at what our options are for pickup trucks. So we're going to take a look in the cars section. I do have some modded stuff I've downloaded. So there's the John Deere Gator. Um, so this guy go, it only goes 31 miles an hour though. So it's kind of slow. Attachers. So you can put a three point hitch on this. Okay. So if we did that, then, you know, we're looking at 20, almost $28,000 for this guy. And it's got 23 horsepower and it goes 31 miles an hour. Okay. Ah. I don't know. I'm not really too thrilled about that, to be honest with you. I bought one of these Mahindras on the multiplayer server. It is basically uncontrollable. It goes 60 miles an hour, but when you start going down the road in this thing and, you know, one little tiny bump on the wheel and you are off the road. So I did not like it and I ended up selling it. So there's an old 86 Lizard pickup here. Um, and it looks like, uh, yeah, so that that would actually be less expensive. <laughs> than the than the gator 
It does come with the hitch, and stuff could be hauled in the back. For $25,000, it goes 74 miles an hour. We also, though, have the the newer Lizard pickup. Oh, what is this? Okay, this is a John Deere. This goes 46 miles an hour. And it's got a lot of options on it. An awning, huh? Camouflage. Oh, that's cool. Wheel brand. Load capacity. Design font. Oh, look at that. That's kind of neat. This is a mod, uh, attachers. So it does come with. Hey, wait a minute. One standard, one and two. So it looks like there's like a little a winch or something in the front. And. I wonder if that's an actual working winch, like that you could maybe pull logs or something with. That would be neat. Uh, and then it's got the 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 hitch in the back there. The rest of that's just color stuff. Okay, so that's um, that's actually cheaper than the base game one too. And we go forty six miles an hour. Something to think about. Okay, so these are mods that I installed. And it looks like these these are going to be more money, but they're they're the larger engine. So this is a a 6. Point, what did it say? Yeah, 6.7 liter engine. How much horsepower does this have? This has 450 horsepower. How much does this have? 280. Yeah, um because you know what? We can use this to pull our trailer and then we don't have to drive our tractor around so much. So I'm kind of thinking I want to get this. It's going to cost us a little bit of money, but I think it's about time. It's a, it's high time we had a pickup. I mean, we are a farmer. What kind of farmer doesn't have a pickup? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, all right. So now we have some configuration options that we have to do. There, Here's presets. Okay, what is this? This is preset one. It looks like it adds like some racks to the roof that's standard oh so there's only oh it's doing okay so it's also adding like a little sideboard and it changed the front so it increases the width of the tires and changes the front end okay that's interesting tires basics tires Sport tires. High performance tires. Off road tires. Look at those things. Those are cool. Mudding tires. Oh, snow tires. Continental are the defaults. Basics. I kind of like these off road tires. How much does that add? That adds twenty three hundred dollars to the price. Um, those aren't the best solution for driving on pavement. Oh, the mudding tires are kind of cool though too. Off road mudding. Regular Continentals. Basics. Kind of like the basics, actually. Wait, what are these again? These are sport tires. Those are kind of nice, too. Um, I'm, This is kind of what I'm feeling here, these mudding tires. So, yeah, that's what we're going to go with. Okay, wheel setup, standard. Performance. So, this is just changing, like, the rims. Duels. Ooh. Dooleys are kind of cool. I like that. Give us a little more traction for pulling trailers and stuff. Yeah, let's go with dooleys. Okay, front grill. Let's take a look and see what this does. Main color, design color, chrome, standard. Definitely want chrome. Okay, vinyls. 
What is that going to change? Oh, okay. No, don't like any of that. Okay, extras. Sidesteps, steel. Sidesteps, black. Bull bar, steel. Bull bar, black. Both the sidestep and the bull bar in chrome. Me likes. Me likey. Me likey. Okay. Um. Wow, look at all the stuff that's here. Time we're never going to spend a hundred thousand dollars on this pickup. Uh, no, we're not. Uh, okay, so let's see. Lighting, what does that mean? Oh, lighting, yeah, like lights. Gotcha. Okay, LED bar, strobe bar, so that would be like a beacon, bowl bar, lights on the bowl bar, bowl bar two, bowl bar three, one and two, one and three, one and four. One and five, two and three. Um, I, I don't know. I think all in all in one. Oh, all three lights. Gotcha. Okay. Eh. Honestly, I think I'd rather go with just bulb bar lights. So the question is, do we want round, those, or those? I kind of like those. That's what we're going to go with. Okay, kits. Standard. Rounded kit. Front bumper design. Front bumper black. Front bumper steel. Off road. Off road main. Off road steel. Fenders one. Ooh, I like that. Fenders two. Fenders three. Fenders four. Off road one. Okay. Fenders four. I like that. I like the black fenders. And the steel bumper there. Okay, we're going with that. So we're, we're up to $40,000 now. Okay, window tint. Standard, medium, dark, standard. Um, yeah, let's go with that. Okay, attachers. Plow mount. No, we're not going to be plowing with this. Standard plow mount. Oh, that's the only option they give us. I've never, I've never seen an option uh, or a contract, I should say, for plowing. So I guess if we were doing something in the winter and we wanted to plow our own driveway, we could use that. But I would probably use my tractor for that. So yeah, let's not get that. Okay, mirrors, standard. Tow mirrors, standard. Tow mirrors. Yeah, we want tow mirrors. Okay, engine setup. So this is a 6.7 high stroke V8 for uh and it's already got 450 horsepower. My goodness, how much do we need? This is tuned for 510 horsepower. Nah, we don't need that. That's another almost 10 grand, man. It ain't happening. Uh okay, so um can we not put a bed on the back of this? Wait a minute, what? Did I miss something? Um, I like blue. Phoenix blue aged, Phoenix blue new age, Phoenix blue, Phoenix blue gloss. Maybe. What about something darker? Goldhofer. Yeah, I like that better. Okay, design color. I like that better. I don't like the I don't like the stripe thingy. Rim color, dark steel, aluminum, chrome, polished. Actually, what if we went uh, stainless steel? That's what it was. Yeah, I like them the way they are. 
and then it'll just use our OG play. Okay, so where is my, where's the bed on this? And how do I get a hitch on here? What am I missing? I'd like to be able to put a bed on here and a hitch, but I didn't see that option. Tires, wheels, grills, vinyls, extras. This just gave side set, steel, bull bar. Yeah, we wanted the bull bar and the thingy. Okay. That's the lights. The kits were... Didn't do anything for the bed. Windows, tent, attachers, standard. Uh, no, we want... Yeah, we want tow mares. That was the plow mount. This is the engine. There's got to be, we got to be able to put a bed and especially a hitch on here. I don't understand what the deal is. Okay, guys, I figured it out. So basically what we do is we buy the pickup truck and then as a separate purchase, we can uh, put various different types of beds on here. Uh, okay, so this, uh, let's see, what are we at? We're at 73. This is going to cost us 40 grand, but that's a pretty nice pickup truck. So let's do it. Farmer's got to have a pickup, baby. That's all there is to it. Okay, so look at this butte. Nice, man. I love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, before we get in, though, we got to finish. <laughs> we got to finish doing our thing. Okay, so, um, so let's go back to here and go back to here. And uh, so, okay, somewhere, there's somewhere. I don't know where uh, we should be able to find the, the things for this. So would that be under miscellaneous? No. Um, where would it be? Do, 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 under here. Miscellaneous? Yes, right here. Okay. Here we go. TLX 2020. Okay. That's what we were looking for. All right. So now we can. I'm kind of thinking flatbed because then we could put pallets on it. And so, uh, and we could put, you know, hay on it, that sort of thing. Look at this box. That is cool, man. Capacity, unreal. What? Okay, that's neat. I mean, I don't want that, but it's kind of cool that it's there. This is a. A bale trailer, a uh, trailer, tray, uh, flatbed. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> flatbed. Uh, oh, it, oh, look, it tips. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, it's got a tipper on it. Wow. I just don't know of a situation where we would be hauling that few number of bales, though. Unless, well, yeah, nah. Hmm. It's neat, but not really what we want. This is yard it. What does that do? Yard it. Um, this vehicle can transport tree logs. So my trailer is going to be attached. I think the description's probably off on that. This is almost like like a pallet trailer kind of idea, I think, because yeah, it's got all the products in there. Um, log it. Okay, so that's like a little short log trailer. That's neat. I'm not sure what this is for. This is maybe for silage or something? Perhaps? Don't know. Okay, what's this? This is a tank. How much capacity does it have? It has 5,000 liters. Well, that's cool. Very neat. Very neat. Uh, our our tanks have 8,000 liters, though, so we don't really need that, but it's it's a very cool option. All right, so this is just a tipper bed, two different flavors, and then this is a flat bed, and this is just the, the normal, you know, back end that you'd put on your average pickup, and it does come with a hitch. But, I mean, I'm think, how much does this cost? This is 2,500 bucks. We could always purchase this later on if we decided we need it. I think the flat bed is what I want to go for. I think that's what we want to go for. It even has like a fifth wheel attachment too. Uh, yeah, so this is what we're going to get. Okay, so 3,500. Uh, the floor style is 
currently diamond plate. What are the other options? Rubber or diamond plate? No, we would want diamond plates. <clears throat> Excuse me. Lighting is work lights. Yeah, work lights is cool. And I I kind of like the black color. I think that'll go good with with our with our truck. So I think we'll keep that as it is. That's going to cost us another $3700. Let's buy this. And I guess what we do now is get in our truck. High stroke V8. Oh yeah. Listen to that. That is awesome. Except for we're kind of whoops. <laughs> we're kind of boxed in here. Okay, there we go. Oh, this is cool, you guys. It kind of sounds weird, but that's okay. It's just the way it is. And I guess we just back up underneath this and attach it. Do we have to get out and attach? Yep. Yeah. There we go. Do we have to hook up lines? Oh, it even has straps on it. And they're lined up with the with the hoops. Oh, that is cool. <laughs> Look at that, you guys. We got a pickup truck. We got a pickup truck. Oh, you know what, though? It doesn't have the OG license plate on it. I thought it would put it on there. Okay, we got to have to fix that. Wow, listen to the sound of that. That's interesting. <laughs> It's very beefy sounding. <coughs> okay, so let's put this down here. And we want to go to customize. And we want to do OG license plate. It's too bad I can't... Um, we want this on front and back. It's too bad I can't just use the ones I already have instead of having to redo this again, but... That's right. So, I think, what does my other license plates say exactly? Man, that is loud, though. That is really loud. Do we, have, do we have the license plate on the New Holland? We might have to put one on there, too. I didn't even think about that. No, we don't. Man, it's a good thing we didn't get pulled over. See, that's got an OG license plate. And this one should have one in the back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the sound on this is, is off. It's just a bit loud. Goodness gracious. Okay, so we're going to go here and we're going to go... Uh... No, we need to go to let type. Yeah, this is the one we, we have. So. Okay, why isn't that letting me select? Oh, it's because that's a number. That's right. I remember running into that before. Okay, so no, we need to go to type. This one? Type 2? Yeah. I guess we have to do type 2. Alright. So why is... Let's set this up like I have it on my multiplayer server. So this should be L... D... Wait. No. D... And then G, U, no, U, not V, Y, S, asterisk. No, not asterisk, number sign. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Oh, wait. I, I didn't mean to get this with the plow attachment. It's <laughs> it covers up the license plate. Well, what the heck? Whatever. We got we got the plow attachment, so it's on there. Where's the rear plate? 
Do we have to reattach this now? Wait a minute. I told it to do the front and the back. Where's the back plate? Houston? Where's my back license plate? It says front and back. Um, all right, let's take. I don't, wait a minute. I don't have the plow attachment set up. Oh, that's down below. Okay. I thought it was this, this little bar thingy here. Okay. Appar well, I guess, I guess we can't put a rear license plate on it, which is probably super illegal in real life. <laughs> but, um, at least we have one on the front. So if we get pulled over, we can just tell the officer to go around the front. Yeah, I, I'm not seeing it, seeing it on there. Oh, this is neat, though. Okay, guys. <laughs> we got ourselves a pickup. We paid way too much money for this pickup, but hey, we got a pickup. We're a, far we're, a, we're a real farmer now. We have actually have our own pickup. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, well, we can't end the episode without first taking this for a spin. As loud as it is, oh my goodness. Okay, we're all lit up, baby. Woo-wee, that's loud. Goodness gracious. No, oh, actually, you know what? Let's go this way instead. We'll take it out on the open road. Turn our signal off. Look at the inside of our cab here, man. It's very nice. Nice and plush. We have our high beams on? doesn't seem to change the indicators at all. Pretty nice, man. Pretty doggone nice. This is as fast as we've ever gone in this game. <laughs> oh, this is great. Okay, so we will be using our pickup truck from now on to haul stuff on our flatbed trailer instead of our tractor so we can save the tires. There's the sawmill. We've never actually been to the sawmill. We're going to hit the border here in a second. Uh, yeah, that's the border right there. Okay. You know, I, I may have mentioned this to you guys, but I was told, and I haven't looked into this for myself yet, but I was told that somebody made a larger version of Elm Creek. So it's the Elm Creek map, but it it's bigger. It goes beyond just the, you know, the, the borders of the game. Hey, we haven't done this yet. That's kind of a wimpy horn for such a beefy truck, man. <laughs> Look at how fast this thing goes. This is crazy. And it's got more horsepower than our tractors. <laughs> That's a, I love it, man. I love it. Okay. So, yeah, guys, we have our pickup truck now. Uh, it's been a long time coming, but we finally have it. Um, so, what we're going to do is, in the next episode, well, yeah, we're going we're gonna to go ahead and sleep until April 1st, and then we're going to have a boatload of contracts to do, and we're going to make, we sh I, I'm expecting to make six figures from that. Is awfully loud. That's the one thing I, I don't like about it is how loud it is. But man, it's a nice truck otherwise, isn't it? It's just beautiful. Um, let's disconnect this. Let's see. That and that. And the tractor will no longer have to haul the trailer along the pavement to save our tires. We will now use the pickup truck for that. Whoop. And, um, anyways, yeah, so, so we're going to go into April. We're going to get all of the contracts done and out of the way and make some money. And then maybe on April 2nd, what we'll do is we'll have an episode where we just drive around, enjoy our new pickup truck and start getting some of the collectibles that are on the map. I, I think when, 
Whenever we pick those up, we get like a thousand bucks. So hey, we'll make some money and and find that. But more importantly, what we will do? Didn't I? I thought I did a chrome front piece on that. Yeah, that's supposed to be chrome, not black. Well, you know what? It looks fine though because wait a second. No, no, no. We were missing. We're missing fenders too. Something got changed. <laughs> we're supposed to have black fenders and a chrome. Okay, we got to fix that. We got to fix it. Something's not right. Somehow or another, I, I changed it, not meaning to. Anyway, um... Good Lord, have mercy on my eardrums. So loud. Uh, yeah, so we'll go into April. We'll get the contracts out of the way. And then maybe April 2nd, we'll just kind of have a fun day where we drive around, explore the map a little bit, find some more of the, or, or find some of the collectibles. I've, I've seen them around, but I wanted to kind of save that for a dedicated episode. And um, yeah, and do that and then go from there. So before I let you go, though, the front grill is supposed to be chrome. Oh, that looks nice. And then also... I think it was kits, right? Yeah, look at that. That's the kit we wanted. We wanted the, well, okay, that's off-road three, off-road two. I think that's the kit that I originally wanted because uh, we liked the metal bumper and in the, in the uh, you know, stainless steel uh, bar in the front here. Yeah, I thought something looked different than what it was supposed to. And we're supposed to have lights on there, too. What happened, man? How did I screw this all up? I don't know. I don't know. Um, cab lights. It's a rounded standard. Oh, squared. Yeah, I like the squared. The, we wanted those. No. I just want bull bar lights, but we wanted those lights. There, okay. So the tires are right. I believe the wheels are the, are right. Got the dark tinted windows. Yeah, that's that's the way it's supposed to be. Okay, that cost us another thousand bucks. Somehow or another, I messed that up. I didn't mean to, but okay, let's reattach that. Okay, that's what it's supposed to look like. Very nice truck. Love it. Uh, okay, guys, that is it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment to share the video. And we'll see you on April 1st. Bye-bye.